Well, thanks a lot, Chris. Well, when you look at it, no team is an automatic win. But when the best team in baseball is playing the team with the worst record in baseball, you got to do damage, and the Yankees did that. They did what they had to do. They beat the A's three in a row. Yeah, they did. They fell behind early in this series, but they did a really good job of, you know, just taking it one pitch at a time and making sure they take advantage of each and every mistake. And you saw some mistakes from a, from a young Oakland, Oakland athletic team that allowed the Yankees to come out and, and, and do what they did today, and that's get the series sweep. And the Yankees do what they do, and they do it with home runs. They have more home runs uh, than any team in baseball. In fact, they have more home runs in the month of June than the A's have in the entire season. And today was Judge and Stanton. And as you mentioned during the game, Cam, that is a formula for a win. It, it really is. But what they do extremely well is get guys on, you know, prior to those big homers. So, you know, that's the area that they wanted to improve. They wanted to get better uh, in the box, having better quality at bats and not relying on the homer. But again, they still do, um, you know, look for it to lift them. And it, it lifted them in a big way throughout the series. Now, what's happening with the Yankees is that they continue to win, although some of their starters are having so-so outings. Not terrible, but they certainly persevere and give them some innings. But we've seen it with Nestor Cortez. We've seen it with Tyone as well. Uh, but the fact that they can go into a slump, which every pitcher is going to do, and still pick up victories, that's important as well. It is important. And the most important thing is in those, um, you know, rough starts, they're giving the bullpen length. Mm -hmm. They're still managing a way to reel it back in, find their command and their poise, and give um, the bullpen a little bit of break, a little time off. So they're doing a good job, not pitching like the, the staff that we saw earlier but they're doing a good job of just fighting, battling, and getting through that tough that tough stretch. All right, so the Yankees have won five in a row, uh, so they rebound after they lose those middle two games to the Astros. Now they go to Houston uh, tomorrow to begin their longest road trip of the year. It's four cities, and it's 10 games and 11 days, and uh, it, it always seems like we're looking for some kind of test for the Yankees or litmus test, but these 10 games are going to be interesting. Now, not, they're not against the best teams in the world because you do have Pittsburgh thrown in there for two games, but the Guardians have played well. Yeah, you know, and, and they're managed really well by Terry Francona, a guy who, who gets the best out of his ball clubs. Um, they know who they are as a team. They, they, they're they scrappy. They put together good at-bats. They play good defense, and they pitch well. So um, it'll be another test. Throughout the season, they'll be tested because they're going to get everybody's best shot. So they know that. But the thing that they do so well is they stay poised. They take one game at a time, one pitch at a time. And they continue to play together as a group, and it's been impressive to see what they're able to do. Now, when I look at this road trip, the thing that excites me the most is the final four games. Uh, the Yankees against the Red Sox. The Yankees have played the Red Sox just three times this year, just three times. So uh, by the time they meet them in Fenway Park, it'll be July, and it'll be only the second series that they meet. This is a four-game set, and this Red Sox team is not the same Red Sox team for the first two months of the season. They've had a great month of June. They actually run a lot, which is kind of shocking, and I think that's going to be a good test for both of those teams. Yeah, and it's going to be an electric series. It's going to be playoff atmosphere. Uh, as you said, the offense starting to pick up. They're starting pitching. Pitching and bullpen doing extremely, uh, extremely well. Pitching a lot better than they were early in the season. So look for that series to be uh, an intense, high energy, high pressured uh, atmosphere. And I'm sure the Yankees are looking forward to the challenge. All right. So the Yankees head to the road and they will go to Houston first. And they carry with them the best record in baseball, an amazing 36 games over 500, Chris.